Okay, so as I said, we are modeling what? First vanilla SIPs and then in the second part, we'll do the step up also. So this is a, this one will give you a learning for Excel, like how do you create a model, input, process, output, as well as a lesson around wealth management, which is so important for all of you when you're at the brink of starting your careers, right? So we start with what? Your SIP amount monthly is how much? 10,000. Then your, uh, you do this for how many years? 25 years, which will be 300 months, right? And your rate of interest is 14% on an annualized basis, which is on a monthly basis, it is 1.17%. So these become your inputs. These are your inputs. Okay, na? Now we, we have to create this table for how many months? We need to do it for three months. Now, if you remember, yes, a day before session, I told you we can populate a series. This one has to be on the columns. Step value one, stop value will be 300 and press OK. So your 300 months will get populated at once. Faster, right? No hassle of dragging or anything. Start with the opening balance. Add your SIP end of the month. What is the growth the corpus will achieve? And end with your closing balance. These are your, this is the flow. So you start with an opening balance of zero. You can, uh, what is the SIP value? 10,000 on a monthly basis. So in the first month, when we are uh, in the first month and we have assumed that the deposits are going to be at the end of every month, the first month deposit will not have any growth because at the, it's, it's already at the end of the month. So it'll be zero. So what will be your corpus value at the end of the month? It will remain at 10,000. Okay, this corpus value at the end of month one will become your opening balance for beginning of month two. Again, we make a deposit of 10,000. Now, which one, which one is going to earn the return? Only the opening balance, not the deposit because deposit again is happening at the end of the month. So beginning of the month deposit into rate would be your growth. Again, the closing balance would be sum of all of these. But that's it. Itna hi karna tha apko. Now, what you have to do is just these two static references, which have been highlighted in yellow, the inputs. Isko mujhe freeze karna hai by pressing F4, function F4. Yaha pe bhi or yaha pe bhi. That's it. And then just double click on the dot. The moment you do that, you will arrive at the answer, which is 2 crores, 69 lakh, 58,260. Now, you can make it look neater also, I told you. Select all the, all the, select the entire matrix and press comma. It will get converted to double decimals. In such a big value, you don't need decimals. So, I'm going to decrease decimals to zero decimals. And... I arrive at this corpus value, which is 2 crore 69 lakh 58,264. This is by the tabular approach. You can also apply the formula for future value of annuity, which is A. What is A? Also link this. So if you change it anywhere, it will change A into 1 plus R. What is R? rate to the power of n 300 months minus one don't forget board mass you have to apply outer brackets and the whole thing divide by r please see if you're getting the same number two crore 69 lakh 58 thousand 264 
which matches what you had got by the tabular approach. Right? And the third one was using the FV function in Excel. So if I apply the FV function, it asks you for your rate. What is the monthly rate? 1.17%, comma. Number of periods, 300, link karo, comma. PMT, this is recurring payment. Every month you're making a deposit of 10,000. So I'll put minus 10,000, comma. You start with a present value of zero, comma. We are assuming end of the month deposit. So again, zero. Bracket close, enter. What is the value you get? Same value, 2 crore 69 lakh 58,268. You can format paint and get it here. So whether you apply the tabular approach or you apply the future value of annuity formula that you learned in financial management or you apply future value function, all three are going to get you the same result and they must get you the same result. Now the beauty of modeling is, suppose I change it. Now look at the value here. What does it become? 5 crore 39 lakh 16,528. Even this changes. 5 crore 39, 16, 528. Even this changes. 5 crore 39, 16, 528. I make it 30,000. Just change one input. Everything will change. Correct? So 30,000. What is the corpus? 8087479 The same numbers you can see here also. So this is the advantage of financial modeling. With financial modeling, you can just create a customized template and just change the inputs. If you change the inputs, all your outputs will change automatically. And you must carry out validation exercises to see that the template that you have drawn up is right or not. So that completes the first part of the problem. Okay. So for, if you have a 10% vanilla, uh, sorry, 10% step up SIP, then we can model using the VLOOKUP. The idea is very simple. I'll first put the years here. Year one, what is the SIP value? Isko we will link it. Year one SIP is 10,000. So I can take the step up input here so that if I change the step up input, everything in the model changes automatically. This is your step up input. Okay, na? Year two, and we have to go down till how many years? 25 years. Year two onwards, the step up, uh, the SIP is going to increase by 10% every year. So I just increase it by 10% static reference freeze and double click. So you will keep on increasing the monthly SIP from the first year till the 25th year. Now, all I need to do is focus on this table. And whenever the year changes, the SIP value should change, which I told you should happen by month plus 11 by 12 ka lookup. So if I do here, I'll insert another column here. Insert step up SIP. Okay, na? So first case, mein toh, I just take this because first case, mein, there's no problem. Second case onwards, I do a V lookup. V lookup month plus 11 divided by 12. Yehi value mujhe look up, look up karni hai. Kahaan pe look up karni hai? Table pe. Comma. In this table. Which value in this table? The second column. Second column, no? First column is the year. Second column is the SIP. So comma 2. Comma false for the exact match. Correct? and enter. Aya? Obviously nahi aya. Because 2 plus 11 by 12 is 13 by 12, which is 1.1, which it will not be able to find out on the table. So I can use if error. If error ka kya matlab hai? Agar error aya to, 
इफ एरर मीन्स अगर एरर आया तो क्या सो इफ एरर देन यू कैन टेक द प्रीवियस वैल्यू विच इज दिस वैल्यू ब्रैकेट क्लोज एंटर नाउ इट सॉर्टेड है ना अब हमको क्या करना है मुझे सिर्फ और सिर्फ उस टेबल को फ्रीज करना है कौन सा टेबल वी लुक अप वाला टेबल करेक्ट एंड जस्ट डबल क्लिक लेट्स इट मॉडल हो गया नाउ लुक हियर पहले साल में क्या एस आई पी वैल्यूज है टेन थाउजेंड टिल मंथ ट्वेल्व सेकेंड ईयर इलेवन थाउजेंड टिल मंथ ट्वेंटी फोर थर्ड ईयर ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड टिल मंथ थर्टी सिक्स एंड सो ऑन एंड सी वॉट हैपन्स टू योर कॉर्पस वैल्यू ये गड़बड़ है क्यों पता है क्योंकि मेरे को यहाँ पे क्लोजिंग बैलेंस का फॉर्मूला चेंज करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज इट्स टेकिंग एस आई पी ऑल्सो एंड ग्रोथ ऑल्सो सो आई जस्ट नीड टू टेक ओपनिंग बैलेंस प्लस स्टेप अप एस आई पी प्लस ग्रोथ दैट्स इट डबल क्लिक सो दिस शुड बी द वैल्यू दैट एनी इन्वेस्टर शुड बिल्ड एट द एंड ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर पीरियड नाउ सी हियर यू हैव नॉट ओनली लर्न अ फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग लेसन You have also learned a wealth management lesson. If you set aside ten thousand a month, and you don't change it, you are building a corpus of two point six nine crores. But if you set aside ten thousand, but you increase it ten percent every year, your salary is increasing. So ideally, your investment should also increase. Plus, when you make job jumps, आजकल you get erratic hikes, forty percent. I've seen seventy percent, hundred percent hike also. so 10% should not be a problem and you are building a corpus which is 3 crore higher than the previous one why is that this is because the power of compounding happens in a longer period of time the problem in these days is people want instant money but life bolte hai na life is not instant coffee so you have to be patient so if you if you are patient for the longer period that's when the magic of compounding will unfold are you getting it so this was the uh, step up sip model template okay